Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, people? Welcome back to another edition of Mike on Sports. I am your host. I go by the name of Mike Grouse, man. Big up to that 501 and that 317. So we all know Virgil Ortiz had a big win last night over Igis Kavalowskis. That that led me to thinking, because we already know, man, boxing is about, all right, good win last night, but what's next? What's next? What's next? So with that win with, with, with Virgil last night, it had me thinking a potential matchup with Jerron Ennis down the line. It probably won't happen right now. One guy fights on, on Showtime, the other one fights on the zone. One's with Golden Boy, the other is with Cameron Duncan. And I started to think right now, at this current date, who do y'all guys have as the better welterweight? Who is the better Walter Wade right now, today, at this moment. Is it Virgil Ortiz with wins over Kavalowskis and, and, and Sammy Vargas and uh, uh, Mauricio Herrera? Or is it Jerron Lippin, I mean, Jerron Lippin, yes. Jerron Ennis, who passes the eye test, who has all the ability in the world, and who's coming off a big win over Sergey Lipinets. But before I answer that question, I need everybody to do me a huge favor. Go out to YouTube right now. If you're watching me on YouTube, go out and smash that thumbs up button. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Mike on Sports. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell, whatever you got to do. And if you're watching this video right here, please do me a favor if you have YouTube Premium and download this video. You ain't even got to watch it. You can de delete it after you download, but the download helps me get more watch time. So go ahead and download that video. So, in quick segue, I do apologize to all the Rashidi Ellis fans and all the Connor Ben fans. I do believe that Rashidi Ellis and Connor Ben are two very, very good boxing. Look at Rashidi right there with these quick hands. Do, do. Very, 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 very fast hands. But they just don't have the fanfare and the, the big wins under their belt like Jerron Ennis or or, or uh, Virgil Ortiz has. So with that being said, there's no disrespect to Rashidi Ellis and certainly no disrespect to, to Connor Ben, who's coming off a big win over Sammy Vargas, who was looking to fight uh, uh, Adrian Granados, but he got COVID, and we know how, how things go with COVID. Things got rescheduled. But don't, for, don't think that one moment I forgot about Connor Ben or Rashidi Ellis. Both guys are two very, very very good fighters, but at this current date, I just don't have these two guys uh, on the same level as a Virgil Ortiz or a Gerard Ennis. Not saying that they can't get there, but right now, Speedy and the Destroyer, they are just on the back burner. But now, let's, let, let's get back to uh, Virgil Ortiz and my guy, Jerron Ennis. Now, we know Jerron Ennis' last win was a big win over Sergey Lipinets. We know what he was able to do against him. One of the first guys to stop Sergey did something that, that, that Mikey Garcia couldn't do. And we already know uh, what 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 my guy, Virgil Ortiz, was able to do last night against Me Machine, knock him down four times and stop him. Stop him in the eighth round, did it one round better than what Terrence Crawford did it. Now, I do have to ask the question, who do you guys believe is the better fighter today? Now, this is where it's going to get very, very interesting to see you guys answer. Because I want you guys to keep the same energy. Even though your eye test and your, and your thought may tell you that Jerron Ennis is, is a better fighter, you guys can't say that. Because some of you guys... When it comes to resume, means a lot. That's why Terrence Crawford in your book is not better than Earl Spence Jr. So you can't have it both ways. If Jerron ain't better than, than Virgil and, Ter and, and, and Earl is better than Crawford, you got to say Ortiz has done more based off who he's fighting in his resume. Wins over Herrera. Wins over Sammy Vargas. And now a big win over Igis Cavalaskis. So... 
Y'all know me. I keep my same energy, and I feel like Terrence Crawford is better than Errol Spence. And I also feel like if I had to pick today, if I had, if the Mike, you say you got 147 to pick from a young prospect, do you want Jerron Ennis or do you want Virgil Ortiz? I'm sorry to tell y'all, my answer would be Jerron Ennis. No disrespect to what Virgil Ortiz has accomplished. But my eyes tell me that maybe Jerron has a little bit more in his tool bag, a little bit more in his in his in his repertoire than what Virgil Ortiz has. No dis disrespect towards Virgil Ortiz. I'm just giving y'all my opinion. Until next time, smash that thumbs up button. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Mike on Sports and just do what the video tell y'all to do, man. Hit that YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you so you be, be notified every time I go live. Like, comment, share, do whatever you gotta do to, to support Mike on Sports. I appreciate it. I'm about to sign off. Until next time, drop that, drop that, drop that beat on. Sometimes you gotta give people their flowers. Uh, why they can still smell it. Mark Nash.